actually celebrating our St. George's International Day. We do this because the St. George's Primary School is a very diverse school. We have students of all different ethnicities, cultures, races, nationalities. So in order to allow them or to give them an opportunity for them to celebrate their origin, we have created the St. George's International Day so they get a chance to visit other countries whilst they are at the school. So today, every teacher, every class had to select one country, one island, and then they would decorate their doors accordingly. So we have many different islands being represented here today. After we have had our assembly, the students will take a tour of the compound, going to the various classes, looking at the different doors, and then they will get to vote because we have a student's choice door. So the students will be given ballots and they will vote for the door that they think best represents the country that was chosen. Every year we celebrate the BVI Culture Week and we are very excited to do so. So after the BVI Culture Week, we now celebrate the International Day. We do not want to mix up the other cultures with the BVI Culture Week. So when we have that BVI Culture Week, we devote everything to BVI Culture Week, everything BVI. Now once we have done that, we now move on to the International Day. And it was something that basically we came up with as a staff. We recognized our diversity in the school and we felt the need to ensure that every child was catered for and that's the birth of our St. George's International Day. The kids are excited, they are excited. Not only are the doors being decorated, but at our General Assembly, every class has to put on a presentation. So the kids are excited about that. The world's only drive-in volcano. Sulphur Springs, or as advertised in the the world's only drive-in volcano is an active volcano pit that spools mud and sulphur, creating impressive natural hot spring plants. International Jazz and Arts Festival. Taking place annually with various events all around the country, the St. Lucia Jazz and Arts Festival has a long-standing reputation of being one of the most spectacular events in the region. I don't want to forget that today, the 22nd of November, we are also observing the second anniversary of the death of Trinity Moses, one of our students who was shot two years ago on November 22nd, 2017. So the first part of our assembly this morning will be dedicated to her remembrance. We have her mom here, her aunt here, 
some children from the secondary school who were her classmates then. So we will be dedicating this first part of our assembly to remember Trinity Moses. If love alone could have saved you, you would never die. A heart of gold stopped beating, two twinkling eyes closed the rest. God broke our hearts to prove he only took the best. Every number of day goes by, but you're not in the same places. Always there. When you remember me, please don't, please do not weep. My body may not be there, it has chosen to sleep. I'm not that far away, my soul lives on, looking down, watching over you and everyone. And when you feel sad and life seems so good, just remember that my spirit has its arm around you. And on those special days, can, can you wish that I could see that who is going past you, well, that will be me. So don't be sad, have no fear, God has taken me under his wings, but I always be I still watch you every minute, every day. My love and soul are with you, and that's where I live. I want to thank all the teachers. Last night they left her late, ensuring that the doors were decorated and they got the, the items, the materials. I want to thank the parents. They have been just as involved as the teachers are, helping to decorate, helping to purchase the items and so on. Of course, I want to thank the students for being so actively involved. They have grabbed this idea, they are ready to present. I know students who only speak English and today they will be speaking in other tongues because they have learned the languages of some of the countries they'll be presenting. So overall, I want to thank the office staff as well. I want to thank everyone. We will also have a food fair from all the different countries. So the parents who have already cooked food and prepared things, thank you so much for that. For those who made donations, we thank you as well.